Hey, Pastor Ray here. Thanks for watching Weekly Word. We appreciate you joining in with us each week and uh, being a part of this. Hope you'll share it with somebody and that most importantly, uh, that you find it encouraging in your spiritual life uh, in a little thought to begin your week with. Uh, you know, one of my favorite old movies to watch uh, is The Ten Commandments. And I love the scene uh, that is set where the children of Israel are, have now been freed from slavery. They're making their way across to go eventually to the Promised Land. And uh, they come to the Red Sea. And there is the Red Sea in front of them. Uh, there is mountains on both sides of them. And all of a sudden they see the Pharaoh and the Egyptian army storming up behind them. And there's a scene in that movie where all the people are just completely scared to death. There is no escape. They are in between a rock and a hard place, as we would say, and they don't know what to do. And it's interesting that Moses says to them in Exodus chapter 14, verse 13, he tells them this, stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. Stand still and see the salvation of the Lord. You know, when you're in between a rock and a hard place in your life, when you're in between a time when you think there is no way out of this and I don't know which way to go, I'm pinned in on all sides. What do I do? What's most important in our lives to do as a Christian then is to listen, call out to God and listen to the voice of God and make sure that it is the voice of God telling you and directing your life. And many times we need to remember that you gotta stand still. You gotta be patient. You got to wait for God to speak. There are other voices going on inside of us, our feelings that are communicating with us. There is the voice of despair. That voice says, man, just lay, just lay down and give up and just throw in the towel. The voice of despair often will speak and sometimes it is the first voice that speaks. And it's often the voice that we hear the most and we get discouraged and we lose our hope and our faith and our trust that God can deliver us. Sometimes there is a voice of cowardice that uh, whispers to us, you know what, just lay down and play dead. Just give up, throw up the, yellow, the, the white flag and give up now. That's not the voice we need to listen to either. Stand still and he see the salvation of the Lord. And sometimes there is a rash voice. There is a uh, precipitance about us that tells us, you know what, I don't know what to do, but I've got to do something. Have you ever heard somebody say that? Well, I can't tell you what to do, but you need to do something. That doing something often leads us into deeper trouble and more struggles because we do the wrong thing instead of being patient, instead of waiting on God then sometimes we just begin to presume that we know better and we listen to that voice. That voice that might have said to the children of Israel, you know what, just start walking out in the, in the water. God's gotta do something, just, just take action. No, instead what we've gotta do is we've gotta stand still and we've gotta wait. And it is in the waiting that God grows us and develops us and strengthens us. You ever seen somebody or talk to somebody that's been around in the Christian faith a long time and you tell them about something that's going on and, and then they frustrate you because they'll say, you know what, just, just be patient, just wait. God will work it out. You know, many times they're telling you that because they've lived that. They've experienced that. They've seen that. Moses says, stand still. Don't be a coward. Don't be in despair. Don't be trying to take a rash action. No, stand upright with your head up and your eyes lifted up and see the salvation of the Lord. And then God tells Moses, now tell the people to go forward. And God delivers them and God can and will deliver you. Today may be a day that you need to stand still and wait to see the salvation of the Lord. May God bless you. We'll see you next week.